Hi everybody, Dr. Brett Schur, low carb cardiologist. Want to talk to you real quick about a study that was just published. It was a meta analysis published in um, Journal of American College of Cardiology, looking at uh, basically the four most commonly used supplements: multivitamins, vitamin D, calcium, and vitamin C, and to see if there was any benefit on cardiovascular disease, heart attack, strokes, um, or all-cause mortality, risk of death. And what they looked at was uh, almost 180 different trials using uh, vitamins and mineral supplements that were published between 2012 and 2017. And what they concluded was there was no consistent benefit from those four, uh, the multivitamins, the vitamin D, the calcium, or the vitamin C. Now, there was a slight benefit with folic acid, interestingly, um, but those four there wasn't. So, of course, the headlines are supplements are no good, throw away your supplements, it's not helping you at all. And for some, that might be perfectly true. And for multivitamins, actually, that usually is true. And so much of this comes down to the nuance again, though. And when you're looking at hundreds of thousands of patients, that's one thing. But does that study looking at hundreds of thousands of patients apply to you as an individual? And this is where we get into, you've heard me say this time and time again, the difference between population medicine and the po difference with personalized medicine designed for you. And, you know, this is where testing comes into play. Are you deficient in vitamin D? Are you deficient in some micronutrients? What's your diet like? Are you very heavy on the vegetables and low on the meat? Are you heavy on the meat, low on the vegetables? Do you have a good mix of them? Are you having pro-inflammatory foods? Do you have gut problems? I mean, all these things play a big factor in determining could supplements be right for you. None of these are controlled for in the trials. So, I don't know. I mean, a lot of the times you hear me say we can't trust this study, and it's true. We cannot trust this study for you as an individual. Now, what we can learn, though, we can definitely take something away from it. We can learn that for the general population, telling everybody they need to take supplements X, Y, and Z, multivitamins, calcium, vitamin D, vitamin C, telling everybody they need to take those supplements on average, is not going to be beneficial, right? On average, for the whole population, the study suggests it's not going to be beneficial. But that doesn't tell us anything about you as a specific individual. So my take home for you is, one, don't read this study and feel like you have to get rid of all your supplements and stop taking everything. But also, two, don't read that somebody recommends this one supplement and decide that you should take it because if somebody else thinks it's good, then everybody probably is going to benefit from it. Neither one of those scenarios are really actually true, or we don't know if they're true. If you're curious about supplements, if you want to know if supplements help you, get tested. See if you're deficient in certain supplements. See if you're deficient in micronutrients. Talk to somebody who understands nutrition from a balanced perspective and can help you determine if you think maybe you're lacking in certain nutrients and would benefit from certain supplements. It all comes down to you as an individual. All right. So again, the study got lots of big headlines. Uh, people were talking about saying throughout your supplements, it's not that easy. Okay. It's not that easy. So anyway, hopefully this was more helpful than confusing, but I don't know. I don't think that that study added a whole lot and certainly doesn't deserve the attention it's getting. All right, Dr. Bretscher, Low Carb Cardiologist. You can find more at lowcarbcardiologist.com. Have a great, wonderful, happy, and healthy day.